welcome back to This Week in the Mog Valley, and it is time for the Central New York Travel Show portion of today's program. And we're joined this morning by Sarah Foster from Oneida County Tourism. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Great. We're going to talk about uh, some events uh, happening at uh, the Rome Capitol Theater this morning. Yes. Uh, so today we're joined by Art Pierce, who is the Executive Director at the Rome Capitol. Welcome, Art. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so let's just talk. What um, You're from the Rome Capitol. Why don't you first give a history? I mean, how long has the Rome Capitol been around? The Capitol opened in 1928, December 10th, 1928. And we opened as a movie house, which for some reason surprises a lot of people. I think people don't think of theaters like this as movie houses. Nowadays, yeah. movie houses are different. Uh, but we, we are 1,788 seats oh. and uh, wouldn't really work as a movie theater nowadays, strictly. Uh, although we do show movies now as well as other things. But um, we operated as a first-run movie theater until 1974. And at that point, we were we first did first run for a while. We were operated by a, a cinema national chain briefly. Uh, they found it didn't really work at that point, and we were closed down, used in infrequent occasions. In 1985, a local group uh, put together a proposal and came up with the Capital Civic Center. And since then, we've been operating as a 501c3 nonprofit, and. Um, we do a variety of events at the Capitol. We, we don't forget that we were a movie house, but <laughs> we also do uh, live stage shows because one of the fortunate things is that we have a stage, uh, even though a lot of theaters built at that time have very limited stage facilities. But the Callets, who, who um, built the Capitol Theater with the, with the uh, Comerford Amusement Company of, of Pennsylvania, uh -huh recognized that, well, for one thing, labor was fairly cheap, and they had the land, and they thought, why not make it capable of doing live shows as well? I think the thought was that if, if something came through town, if, if it was a live show, if it didn't play at the Capitol, it was going to play somewhere else and be competition. Yep. And so the Capitol was, is, was and is able to accommodate live shows as well as uh, stage shows, uh, even though we were strictly movie until 1974, occasionally there were live acts on the movie bill as well. Uh -huh. And so we always had that movie thing going on until we closed as a first-run movie house. But uh, since then, we, we we do about 125 performances a year at the wow. Capitol. It's a lot. <laughs> and about three years ago, we bought some adjoining properties, uh, and some buildings, office buildings that had been essentially um, abandoned mm -hmm. the vacant buildings. Those right next door, right? Yes. Okay. Fortunate they happened to be right next yeah. door. Yeah. <laughs> and we outfitted the one to our immediate left as a cinema building. So we have a two-screen uh, independent cinema. Okay. And over there we do um, the current run independent movies. Uh -huh. Not uh, kind of On rare occasions we do... Um, main studio pictures we did silence a couple of weeks ago but but typically we do um independent movies the kind of movies that are not generally playing at the multiplex right now we're running the founder and that's running for another week and um we're we're running um the uh oscar nominated short subjects that'll be well, started yesterday that'll be this weekend mm -hmm. and ending ending today today's the last day and then we have a documentary called i am not your negro which is uh much uh much predicted to be the Academy Award-winning best documentary movie, and that's playing Monday through Thursday. So we do that kind of thing yeah. at the cinema. We have a 70-seat cinema and a 50-seat cinema. Okay. I mean, yeah. yeah, it sounds definitely different, a lot it's, a lot more unique than what you're expecting when you just go to a regular movie theater. Yeah, it's, it's, we, we try to make it something different than the regular multiplex. We have a, 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 a Steinway player piano in the lobby, and we figure we're the only multiplex in the country with yeah. a player piano in the lobby. And and people, it's it's not what you expect necessarily when you go to a multiplex. It's a different experience. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, I remember going there on our fam tour, and that was when you guys were actually building yeah, the cinema over on the side. And it was <laughs> the everyone that was with us was like, "Wow, I never even realized, you know, what you guys are actually doing here." And then even just the decor and everything, it's very unique. Well, and we like it because it it creates a a great deal of activity downtown. So yeah, you know, even on even on slow days when you have ten or 20 people in there you're still bringing people downtown right. and you're offering them the opportunity to do something downtown and um between the capital now and the cinema we'll be doing about 1100 performances 
this year, 2017. That's crazy. Yeah, and that's, that's a lot. That's akin to what we were doing as a first-run movie theater in the 30s. Wow. Back to the roots, kind of, <laughs> with a little in, mix. In a way it is, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the Oscars party is today. Oh, yeah, we also seven. have an Oscars, Oscars party, yes. Thank you for bringing that oh, up. Oh, yeah. At <laughs> 7 o'clock 7 tonight, uh, we, have, uh, we are showing the Oscars okay. on screen at the cinema, and it's free. Oh. And it's free popcorn and beverages, and just show up 7 o'clock, uh, or a little before 7 o'clock, if you like. Yeah. And um, that's what we're, you can see it on the big screen. We do have, it's, it's all digital projection in there. Uh, it won't be at the Capitol. It'll be next door to the Capitol at the cinema. N- okay. That's cool. And then the cinema is open seven days a week, we were that's talking. Right. Yes. Uh, we do typically one show per day on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of each movie. Mm-hmm. And then on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we, had, we do two shows of okay. each movie. And occasionally there's special events. We rent the plates out for birthday parties. So that seems to be quite popular for that. Yeah. Bring your, bring your Blu-ray and <laughs> see it on the big <laughs> screen kind of thing. A little bit different than the 30s, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we are also talking, you have something coming up at the end of March into April? Uh, end of March at the Capitol. Uh, March 31st and April 1st, we'll be showing a movie called Shepherd of the Hills. And it stars John Wayne, uh, Technicolor movie from 1941. That's a Paramount movie. And we'll be showing at the, at the Capitol in 35 millimeter on film, not, not digital. Next door we show digital, at the Capitol we show film. Um, but it's based on a novel by Harold Bell Wright, who is not especially well known today, but for a period of about 20 years, he was the best selling fiction author in the United States. Um, and he was born in Rome. He was born in Wright Settlement uh, in 1872. Hmm. And, well, as he says in his, in his autobiography, he was kind of the product of an a, a abusive father. Uh, when his mother died at 11, the father essentially abandoned him, and he lived with various relatives in Ohio, uh, ended up becoming a, a minister and started writing fiction. He actually wrote a book. He wrote a book with the intention of reading a chapter to his uh, congregation every Sunday. Yeah. And it got published, and he wrote another book. The second book happened to be Shepherd of the Hills, which became his first big bestseller. Uh And it's been filmed three times, and it was also a television production once. A very popular story. And until the 50s, when he was surpassed by Earl Stanley Gardner, he was the best-selling novelist in the United States. And born right here in Rome. That's crazy. A little bit of history. So um, what when people want to find out more information about events, what's the best place, phone number, website, you et can, You can check our website. It's romecapital.com, and it's C-A-P-I-T-O-L, capital okay. O, romecapital.com. You can certainly call us at 337-6453. Don't forget to dial the area code now. <laughs> And uh, you can also, when you're there, pick up a schedule. We have the a, a whole calendar on the back of our schedule, which says what's playing in any given day mm-hmm. in the complex. In social media or anything? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. We have a Facebook okay. page as well. We have a Facebook page for Cinema Capital, Facebook page for the Capital, a Facebook page for Capital Fest, which is our festival <laughs> in August, and a Facebook page for our cat, Callie. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, are there any other shows or anything else you want to mention? Well, we have... Uh, Several movies coming up at the cinema that look interesting. And, yeah, I was just uh, actually trying to scroll through that schedule quick. <laughs> uh, we have um, a, doc, um, a um, German movie called Tony Erdmann, which is also up for Best Foreign Language Film. That'll be starting on March 3rd. And then uh, a movie that's getting, you know, we thought this was a little movie that nobody was really going to pay much attention to. It's a Turkish documentary called Katie. <laughs> and it's so about cats. That picture. Yeah. It's about cats in apparently in Istanbul. And I, I got this from Steve Jackson, who's uh runs the O'Neill Studio of Dance located uh in the Capitol building. Uh but his wife is Turkish. And he says in Istanbul, cats are a thing. Stray cats are a thing. And people just kind of treat them with a great deal of respect. Yeah. And this this documentary Katie is about seven cats, seven specific cats in Istanbul, and they kind of follow their lives. <laughs> Uh, through really reg- cool. the regular routine and the people they interact with and how important they are to the everyday lives of people. Mm-hmm. And we just thought it's a little documentary Turkish. You know, how many, I don't, I don't know that there's ever been a Turkish documentary about cats shown in Rome, New York yeah. before. And now it's been just opened in New York City and it's doing record business out there and people really? are just raving about it. So It sounds like a really interesting story. 
I, it, I, I just saw the trailer for the first time, and it, it does. It looks very compelling, and from what I'm told, it's a very good movie and very well shot, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, that's awesome. Cat movies, there's a, you know, there's people <laughs> who are big cat followers. Yeah, you know? well, I think anyone <laughs> even, that we were just talking about pets out there before, too. I mean, we all know how pets can impact a life, so uh, I see why this, this one could be well, uh, interesting. And, and I just read Leonard Walton's review, and he says, he loved the movie, and he's not a cat person, so I guess that's a good recommendation yeah. <laughs> for a non-cat person as well. Very cool. So RomeCapital.com is the best place to get schedule and then Facebook page. Yes. Um, yeah, anything else? Uh, uh, well, we have the cinema, like I said, it's operating seven days a week, so there's always something going on there. Yeah. So we certainly encourage you to check the website, find right. out what's going on, give us a call. Uh, movies are typically 7.15, 7.30 every evening. Uh, we have the matinees on Saturday and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. On Fridays, the four o'clock ish, three forty five or four o'clock show is captioned, open captioned for hearing impaired, as is the Sunday, early Sunday show. Okay. Uh, and those have become quite popular as well. Yeah, that's a great idea. And then tonight, seven o'clock is the party. Tonight, seven o'clock is the Oscar party. party. It's at two thirty West Dominic Street. Um, just show up. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much, Art. Thanks. Thanks.